Eric is the candidate who um, is the most progressive, is the most open to change, respects the community, believes that there actually are deputy gangs, uh, which is a big one, and um, is, has shown a willingness uh, to work with us, but also knows the inside of the Sheriff's Department. I'm so happy to be working on this campaign. Even if I wasn't, I would still be supporting him. I think it's really important for us just as a club that we not only um, say that we've endorsed him, but we tell everyone else to vote for him. Alex Villanueva has uh, raised um, over one and a half million dollars for his reelection. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of ads. That's a lot of mail. We have to combat that if we want to get our candidate um, at least into the runoff um, on June 8th, right? And so it is my pre pleasure and privilege to introduce to you our candidate for LA County Sheriff because Alejandro has to fucking go, Eric Strong. All right, hello everybody. Hello Stonewall. Are you there? Hello. Uh, I want to take this moment to say thank you so much, um, Alex, to Stonewall. Uh, you all were my first major endorsement. My first endorsement. You went out on a limb, you took a chance with me, and I so appreciate it, and um, it will not be forgotten. I want to thank you, uh, say thank you to Mike Bonin. Where did he go? I hope he didn't leave. All right, Mike, for the endorsement. Thank you, Mike. And um, I also want to say thank you to my biggest endorsement, my biggest supporter, uh, my wife. Where did she go? Where she is, right here. Miss Cece Strong, I couldn't be here doing this without her. Listen, um, I'm the only candidate said no to a new jail. It's old, it's an antiquated, we gotta get rid of it. It's not doing us any good. I don't mind, and I supported Check the Sheriff Initiative. Because guess what, if we're doing what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to do it, where and when we're supposed to do it, we really don't care who's watching. And we don't care if there's some type of impeachment process if we're not participating in misconduct. Uh, I am here because as Jasmine said, Alex has to go. What all of you see on the outside, in the news every day, I can tell you it's 10 times worse on the inside. There's so much turmoil. There's so much divisiveness. There's so much just, the, the, the department is so upside down. And how can you expect a department that does have deputy gangs, that is divided on the inside, that can't treat each other on the inside with respect, how can we expect them to treat the community with respect, compassion, dignity? They can't do it to themselves. So I thank you all so much for your support. I look forward to partnering with Stonewall. And like I said at my very first endorsement interview, you get a seat at the table, but more importantly than just having a seat at the table, you actually get a voice. And that's what it's all about, putting community first, Compassion, dignity, and respect will be the cornerstone of every interaction uh, with me in office, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you so much.